Today is my 27th birthday and I wanted to take some time to reflect and share the 27 things I learned by the age of 27. For some reason, 27 feels like such a big age to me. Usually each birthday I say I never feel older, but this one feels a lot different and I actually feel older this year. So the first thing is that nobody cares that much about you. I oftentimes hold on to a lot of things. I care a lot about what people think about me and it's something that I've been working on. Yeah, that's just kind of a good reminder to me that nobody really cares and to just be 100% myself. Number two is life is way too short to not take the opportunities. I specifically put that one for like social media and saying yes to different type of things for so many years i pushed off doing youtube and anything related to social media because i was so scared of what other people were going to think about me the older that i get i'm realizing that i don't want to be like 60 70 years old wishing that i would have did x y and z in my lifetime number three also kind of goes with number two it says life is too short to pretend to be someone or something that you aren't and i touched on this in a couple of vlogs back but I feel like for a while I was kind of struggling with pretending to be something that I'm not and someone that I'm not. I thought maybe I was annoying or not funny. I'm realizing that like every day is not promised and I should be 100% myself. Number four is it's okay that you didn't go to school. This is something that I struggled with a lot thinking that I had to go to school to be successful in anything that I did. I have to go back to school in order to get a good job. This is just a reminder to myself and to you if you are also struggling with this that school is not always the answer for people. It may work for some but if it doesn't work for you that's okay. The next one also goes with number four but it's okay to not know what you want to do or who you want to be in five years. I feel like we all get this question like what do you want to do in five years where do you see yourself in five years and we all give the like superficial answer of like oh i want to be happy i want to be successful but outside of that it's okay to not know what you want to do because in five years i'll be 32 i cannot tell you what i'm going to do when i'm 32 or what i'll be because it constantly changes every day and that's okay number six it's okay to be selfish i feel like selfish can be such a negative word for some people but i feel like selfish is okay for me it's like i'm gonna put myself first i'm gonna think of my needs first before others and that's something that I really needed to work on this year and what I'm still working on so I'm learning that it is okay to be selfish and it's not a negative thing. Number seven is stop skipping cardio just because you saw it on the internet. For so many years ever since I started like my weight gain journey and getting into fitness I always skipped cardio because we are told that cardio makes you lose weight but we aren't told the benefits of doing cardio such as like heart health and just overall stamina. My stamina is terrible because I stopped doing cardio. I've seen the bad side effects of not doing cardio. I can't even walk up a flight of stairs <laughs> without getting winded number eight take the pto slash call off of work they can fire you at any moment i feel like we've all seen these mass layoffs that they've been having this year and it can be so scary my company even went through big layoffs this year as well and thankfully i survived both of them but that wasn't the case for a lot of my co-workers and my friends we do not owe these companies anything that and also we have the pto and the sick hours for a reason so we should take it number nine a 20 to 30 minute drive is worth it to see the people that you love i put this one in here because i often complain about the drive for seeing my friends but once I get there I have so much fun so me complaining about the drive is such a small thing and I just need to get up and make that drive now if I'm not feeling it if I'm not being social that's like a different thing but me just complaining about being lazy about driving is something that I want to stop doing and work on number 10 reading is so fun when you find the right book or author I used to think that I was the worst reader I couldn't read I was bad at reading for so long I found out that I like romance novels and I like thrillers I used to only read like um the self-help books which i quickly found out that i don't like those books so something that i learned is that it's not that i am terrible at reading it's just i wasn't reading the right books number 11 traveling is worth the price tag i have traveled so much just in the past couple years and then it has been the happiest that i've been the money that we have spent has been so worth it it's so fun because i get to see different places different cultures if you are able to travel and able to save up for travel because trust me i can't travel all the time i have to save up for it but when you are able and you can and definitely travel is such an, a great experience number 12 the only reason you don't achieve something is because of you basically this just means stop standing in your own way for the things that you want to achieve number 13 life is not that serious we are literally on a floating rock i love that one i feel like that just grounds you as a person anytime i read it or hear it like if you really think about it none of this is real we're literally floating in space in a ball you're just like a small small part 
of this whole thing like we're literally just floating in space and i feel like whenever i hear that i'm just like oh yeah it's not that serious let me bring it back number 14 take more photos and videos i'm a big memory person i like to go through my old photos and look at where i was at a certain period of time so that's just something that i learned is very important to me number 15 stop overthinking about what you said nobody is thinking about it anymore i struggled with that a lot i constantly think about what i said three weeks ago to a friend and they're not even thinking about it anymore and the other day i I actually texted my friend about something I said and literally wasn't even a thought. Number 16, confidence is key. So I believe that your confidence can get you very, very far in life. And even if you're faking confidence, eventually you won't be faking it anymore because you'll be doing it so often and acting like you're confident that it'll become your reality. Number 17 is don't break promises to yourself. I learned this one so well this year. I would constantly say like, I'm gonna work out today, I'm gonna do this today. I would create to-do lists and I'm gonna get something done and I wouldn't do it. And I'm basically just breaking my own promises to myself. Why would I ever trust myself to do anything that I wanna do? Okay, this is a good one. Number 18, vodka is not your friend anymore. <laughs> I've tried to have vodka drinks recently, not happening. Like it's not good. It just makes me so sick. I'll have one drink, I have an instant headache. My stomach hurts, like it's just over for me. Tequila is my girl. Me and Tequila are best friends. Number 19, discipline and commitment will get you further than motivation, which is so true. I feel like motivation is great and all and you can be motivated in different times of your life. I'm not gonna be motivated every day. I'm gonna be motivated some days and then not so much the other days. So being disciplined I will get you so much farther than motivation will ever. Number 20, stop making yourself smaller just to make others comfortable. This is something that I struggle with so much and I'm putting it in this list to remind myself that it is possible to not do this anymore and just to remind myself that I'm working towards this. I often just make myself smaller. I don't speak up for myself just because I don't want to hurt other people or make other people feel uncomfortable for whatever reason, but that's not fair to me and I'm learning that. Number 21 is talk to your friends about how you feel even if you think that they don't care. This is a recent one that has come up in like different conversations with my close friends. I especially hold so much in and I think that I can just handle it all and I won't talk to my friends about how I'm feeling. My friends come to me with things but for some reason in my head I'm like they probably have it worse than me so I'm not going to talk about my problems when that's such a wrong way to go thinking about things and i'm honestly very lucky to have the friends that i do so i just need to remind myself that they are there for me just as much as i am there for them okay number 22 being uncomfortable can be exciting this one specifically came in because i have been craving change and i've been craving moving i really want to move out of arizona i don't know where i want to go but i feel like Arizona is just all I know and I just want to set my own roots in another place and just start a whole new life where I don't know anybody, I don't know the roads, I don't know anything. Like I want that feeling so bad. Number 23 is stop talking about it and just do it. I used to be a very big talker and not so much like doing anything. So I learned that I need to just stop talking about it and do it. And if I'm not gonna do it, just stop talking about it. <laughs> Number 24 is be your biggest fan. No one is gonna have your back, cheer you on as much as you can for yourself. Number 25, you can be more than a wife and a mom. Growing up, I think you always just think I'm gonna get married, I'm gonna have kids, that's it. That's how it was for me at least. Getting older, I'm realizing that like that doesn't have to be the end all be all for everybody. Some people it is and that's great and I think it's a beautiful thing, but other people like myself, like that's not all I wanna be known for. I wanna also be like Trine the content creator, Trine the businesswoman, Trine, I don't know, whatever I decide to do in my life. But I wanna be known for more than just those two things. Number 26, bad days don't mean a bad life. Lavelle, my husband actually taught me this one. I have really bad days and I feel like my whole world is just crashing on me and it's the worst day ever in my life is over but something that he does very well is he just reminds me that today is just a day and it's just a bad day but your life is not bad you still have good things happening you still live a good life so it's just a good reminder whenever you're having bad days that it's just a bad day number 27 30 is not old i feel like growing up you think at age 30 and you're like oh my gosh they're so old <laughs> but the closer that i get to 30 the more excited i am to third to turn 30 <laughs> the closer that i get to 30 the more excited i am to turn 30 i don't know what it is why 30 just sounds so great but i mean honestly 40 50 
is not old. Even 60s don't even have to be old. I really think it's all about your mindset. When you're in your 30s, you still have so much life left. I just feel like the closer I get to 30, the more excited I am to turn 30. That was my list of 27 things I learned by the age of 27. Let me know down in the comments something that you guys learned or the favorite thing you learned at your age now. I would love to know some things that maybe I didn't have on my list or if something touched you from my list, let me know as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.